So yeah, um, basically, I think we all are doing well. So today, we I am going to show you something. I mean, um, computationally molecular mechanics, the interesting topic which I didn't cover before through a lecture, but uh, I think it's in, as it is an interesting topic and everyone must must to know because uh, apart from wet laboratory there is also dry laboratory um, that is called as bioinformatics and it's a part of bioinformatics so you know the uh, quantum mechanics i mean higher the value is given to the electron and uh, um you know the frequency or um if you want to calculate every properties of a molecule i mean every atom then um you have to go to quantum mechanics instead of molecular mechanics because uh, through quantum mechanics you know you can be able to know where the electron is you can be able to know the density of electron also here you can see the atom the frequency the ir raman okay roa so everything you can measure through this i mean gaussian software so here uh if i show you that um wait a second view symbols okay you know the left molecule is uh, um ethylene glycol and the right i mean the right molecule of ethylene glycol is urea so on these two molecules um i mean i have combined these two molecules firstly i have drawn and then i optimized the molecules so um where while i mean uh while i'm doing that um, thing i noticed that the quantum mechanics i'm using um i mean no basis set i can be used okay because uh, quantum mechanics uh, requires you more time uh, rather than molecular mechanics um, but yeah i have applied the semi-empirical method so through semi-empirical method i have calculated um, the ir the frequency I mean, yeah, the computationally I have calculated. You have uh, uh, listened the, um, I mean, uh, what to say, the, um, you have seen a lot uh, um, in uh, with laboratory the measuring tool they are using, but uh, through quantum molecular mechanics, I mean, um, how they did it computationally i mean uh, no molecule you are seeing and that uh, your computer is doing it just by fine and not just that thing the ultimate thing is uh, they are also doing this perfectly okay so um i'm showing this because uh, a lot of student in you say that undergraduate or high school uh, sometimes uh, they just can't understand why the peak is needed in iron spectrum um you know that this spectrum is drawn you know that uh, y x axis is frequency per centimeter i mean this is wave number per centimeter and um, the y axis is basically ir i mean infrared ray so here we can see that uh, about 48 steps has been performed and if you look at first step you see the vibration two molecules vibrate together and if we jump to second also the same 
if you jump to the third quite bit different if we jump to the next next here you can see that attention you know yeah so yeah if we jump to the next 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 you can see that while i am moving um next step next step next step the eye are also moving okay look at the graph the peak is also changing because you know um associating with the mode the frequency and also the infrared is connected so while i'm moving the steps the frequency per centimeter in the wave number okay is changing okay so yeah that's the beauty of uh, that we say that quantum mechanics so um there is one thing that i need to add and that is um, um, while you know calculating um, the um, gaussian you have to see the charge distribution you know that so show the charge distribution here i came it's default the default is molecule so um you can also uh, change to apt which is advanced mode also here is dipole moment and you can also the origin and in the center of mass center of nuclear charge your center of electronic charge you know so yeah that's the thing and also you can have here is the summary you know that the summary here you can see that in summary you can have the dipole moment okay dipole moment 4.7922 dipole moment so yeah that's basically it you can save data here plot everything you can do so you can also compare the um, computational data with the um, experimental data so yeah that is the basically thing and yeah also here includes the levels you see that um here is about i think um maybe 18 molecule okay so each and every atom is indicated or you can say um that to identify the molecule um the number is added so um here if you see that log file <sighs> yeah in the log file you can actually calculate the distance between two atoms in a molecule also um, the angle dihedral angle and uh, various things so you can do um i'm showing you just a thing and that is uh, gibbs energy yes you can have also calculated the gibbs energy the thermal correction of gibbs energy you can find that also um you know that mm, I mean everything everything that you require uh, um, to, um, to calculate um, the properties of a molecule you can ha have all everything in a not bad file I mean the log file because uh, in log file um, input file um, I mean there is three files where while you will um, generate um, Mm, the run on Gaussian uh, when um, you will generate um, the input file will be named as Gaussian input file and um, 
uh, when um, I mean there is also another file that is recovered file fragments in the recovered file fragments I mean if the um, run is not completed and they show you that um, I mean um, through electricity um, this run cannot be done so then the check file then recovery file is created and through recovery file you can um, again resume the run where you terminated and um, through this process you can um, also complete your optimization you calculate you can calculate the frequency and um, through this process you can also i mean um calculate the um, i mean you can calculate the um, um the irc scan mm, energy yeah right um, the most important thing is energy so basically the optimization um uh, that does um uh, through optimization uh, your molecule is being converted uh, to a ground state molecule okay so um yeah that's the thing is and uh, one more thing that is uh, here you can see that our route card uh, look at the route card i mean um where is the route card the second yes here is a process processor shared six it means number of processor shared six and um, geometric connectivity okay this is pm6 i mean the model we use the calculation and we calculate both optimization and frequency so this line is called a route card okay so yeah that's basically it and you know the journey of quantum calculation and molecular cal molecular mechanics calculation is just awesome because uh, while I have um, explored these fields, uh, I feel so so happy. Okay, you know that it's just awesome, and uh, while you are using it, it just um become a addiction. Okay, so yeah, next time you know, um, I mean, um, I'll see if I can be able to. Um, give a basic introductory of quantum mechanics and molecular mechanics because um, if um, the theory is clear then you can know how to apply um, that theory uh, through these apps so yeah that's basically it thank you thank you very much for listening uh, about 13 minutes lecture of mine so yeah that's basically it congratulations you have made it okay so yeah that's it thank you thanks a lot subscribe to my channel and build the like button